So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you have an SD card that is no greater than 32 gigabytes. As you can see, I have a 16 gigabyte uh, SD card right here, which will work perfectly fine for you know what we're trying to do. All right, so the next thing you want to do is go to hummingbird.com. And once you get there, you'll come to the, the home screen. And then up here on this bar here, you want to click on support. Click on support. And you'll scroll down a little bit and you'll see software updates. Once this page loads, you're going to go ahead and start to scroll up. As you can see, there's fish finders. You don't want fish finders because we're looking for transducers. And we're looking for Mega Live. So go to accessories right there, Mega Live. You're going to go ahead and click on that. Now it's going to ask you for the Solix or the Apex. So if you have either of those two, go ahead and click it. I have Helix in it, so I want to go ahead and click the Helix. All right, so I want to click on that. Now, this is super important. All right, you're going to try to update to version 1.170. Now, the most important thing about this is that you need to have the latest version of Mega Live on your unit so you can actually go into your unit and look up to see exactly what version you have. So make sure you have the latest version update. All right, so we'll look at the software description, um, the affected models, obviously, the Mega Live. The summary, all right, some of the issues. It says improved jig tracking performance, added support for Mega Live target lock, which is something new, and then improved upgradability. All right, so here was what I just mentioned earlier about the software prerequisites. That's a tongue twister. And you wanna just make sure you go over all this stuff here because if you read right here, fail, failure to install head unit software first can cause issues with the Mega Live, so you don't wanna have Anything causing issues for your Mega Live, because then you'll have to send it back. And then here are the instructions. So make sure that you read the instructions. It's not a lot of them. As you can see, there's only seven of them. And then go ahead and click download. As soon as you download, it should pop up here in the downloading area. As you can see, it's already downloaded. All right, so once that downloads, I go into go, I go to documents. And uh, as you can see right here, um, I have downloads, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on downloads. There's Mega Live right there. I make sure I always click on it just so I can see it right here. Make sure it's the right version. You cannot open this file. You can just download the file and then you can uh, transfer the file. So what I want to do now is uh, make sure it's the the 1.170. It is. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that to my 16 gigabyte SD card. I'm gonna wait for it to load. All right. I'm gonna click on that SD card. There's Mega Live right there. I go ahead and click on it just to make sure it's the right version. Once it is through, I go ahead and export it. And then you can go ahead and take the card out. So I had talked to the technical support crew from Hummingbird and they said, just leave all your units on. So I have my units on, as you can see, uh, make sure you have all your power on and you have enough power when you do this. Like I said before, it, it's, it's fairly quick, so you shouldn't have to uh, have too much juice in the battery but i'd have it all the way up just in case now i i, I asked um some people that actually work with hummingbird and i said now which unit should i put it in i have them on network together and they said it doesn't matter just make sure all the units are on um and i actually use the mega live off of this unit right here my top bow unit so i'm just going to go ahead and put it into that unit i don't think it matters like they said i'm going to go ahead let me get back out of here first. Let me get back to uh, that menu right there, just so I can see everything better. I'm gonna go ahead and slide that that in there. And like before, it says the SD card is successfully encrypted. All right, here's the new one. You wanna make sure that it, it does go ahead and update. So we're gonna go ahead and hit yes. Do you wanna abort? We're gonna hit no. All right. Now it's, this is a little bit different. It's actually got a percentage here. So I guess this is gonna take a little bit longer. I don't know the, the time duration, but you know, this is, this is the process and we'll see what we have to do after here. So around 88% that message flicked off, which I'm assuming it's, it's probably through. But uh, once that little screen pops up that says that the SD card was successfully encrypt, we'll go ahead and take it out and then we'll go ahead and check the, the version of the Mega Live. All right, so like I said, uh, right around like 88% that 
percent screen actually flicked off and we were left with this screen. I waited for a couple minutes before, you know, I uh, took the SD card out. I still didn't take the SD card out, but I went down here to the lower unit just to check to see if the Mega Live was connected. It still was, so let's go ahead and check to see if the version is on here. I'm gonna go ahead and hold the view button for two seconds. One, two. All right, once it goes to system, or I'm sorry, once it goes to views, go to system. Go ahead and click over. All right, it says system status, or let's go to accessory test, because it's gonna let us know what we all have in there. So if you go to Mega Live version 1.170, so it did go ahead and work. We have it connected right there. So it's as simple as that. Now, if your internet's a little bit faster than mine, you'll probably get it done a little bit quicker, but with that percentage, um, little thing that was going on on the bottom, letting you know how much time you had left, it probably was no more than six minutes. So, you know, with you getting your SD cards ready and, you know, getting onto the site and doing the download stuff and transferring the file over to your SD card, you know, it should be no longer than 10 minutes. So it's super quick. But uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like to give it a thumbs up. If you want to see upcoming videos, go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Peace.